Alright, I'm sorry, I've just been on the go today and I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and get on this thing. So hold on, I'll be right back. Now, first thing this morning, I go and put in all these documents for a visa and it got denied. I need to figure out a long-term visa. I need to figure something out because I'm here and I'm gonna have to leave in like three weeks and go somewhere for like a few days and then come back. But I can only do that six times is what I've been told. I heard that there's like an unlimited amount, but I don't know. So to be scary to go and then come back and have that be the plan and then they won't let me back in the country. That would be worst case. But before we get to that point, I'll figure something out. I just had to figure it out. I applied for the smart visa and they denied me. The talent smart visa super denied me. They just, no, just no. Not even like, oh, maybe do this. No, just no. Hmm. Today I got an amazing massage. Top notch thing about Thailand is you can just get these crazy cheap foot massages. Boom! Right just everywhere you are. Boom! Foot massage. Boom. Never realistically pay more than like $15. But if you go in the middle of the day when they're getting no business, usually they have a like a happy hour. 200 baht. 200 baht for a foot massage. One hour. Come on. 200 baht. $5.60. But really, I give them an extra 100 bot tip so that's eight dollars and 39 cents for an hour massage after tip i also got food at a newer place petchaburi soy 19 is where I used to be. So I used to get all my food around there and also back in the Pratunam market. But now that I'm not really that close to that stuff, there's other food places right here. So I'd like to just stay in this area. I got this basil, like basil, chicken, rice with egg, fire. Only 70 baht, come on, can't beat that. Like I said, I've been trying to stay away from all the bad stuff. So, I've been getting a lot of fruit recently. Almost every time I pass a fruit stand, I cop something. Usually like pineapple, but pineapple here is always good. That is like the number one just smacker. I mean, the pineapple always is not too sweet, it's not acidic. Something about the pineapples here, because you know they're only like this big. Something about them here, they don't have that acidic taste like the ones in the United States. These ones here, they're just sweet and you can eat as much as you want and they don't make, like have you ever ate too much pineapple and it like makes your tongue like weird? That's not an issue here. Also, I got a cut. I need to, come on now, stop playing. Also got a cut, I need to get my hair rebraided. Nine Limit Barbershop might be the best barbershop in Bangkok to be honest. Now. My back is feeling better. It's still sore, but it's just sore now. Like when it first happened, it was hurt, but now it's just sore. So I went to basketball practice today with my team. There was like, they had like a couple other teams there, but I don't know if it was just teams. I think it's just like a big group of people, like 20 dudes who just always play together on Thursdays. So we would do, this is like a weird format. It was four teams, obviously, 20 people, five, five. It, two teams will play and they will play for eight minutes or 15 points. So if you can score 15 points, then you stay on as the winning team. If the time just goes, the eight minutes goes by and then nobody scores 15, both teams have to get off and both new teams come on, which is low key kind of fire. And then after we did that, they invited me to go eat with them. This is the ride? This is the ride right here? 
<laughs> <laughs> When I, I said I needed a ride, and this is this is what a ride is, and I'm all the way with it. Pause. <laughs> so we literally went like right down the street, and then sat on the side of the street at this place and ate. <laughs> All right, guys, see you later. It was decent. It was decent. It was interesting. They ordered, we had pig liver, and I don't even like pork like that, but I'm crazy open-minded to at least try food. Like, I'll at least take one bite just to be like, all right, I don't like it. And then it was pig intestines. I hate to say it, but they were good. Like, I hate to say that they were good, but I think it's because they were grilled. So they had like a char on them and they were low key fire, but come on intestines, I just can't get over my head. I can't get it through my head to eat that. It's almost like I just gotta let that one be. I can't do it. But then we had these like, like beef, like, like steak strips. And those were pretty fire. Those were pretty fire. And then like some spicy salad, some spicy sauce. It was cool, but it was just really dope. Cause I got to sit there and listen to all my teammates speak Thai and I just know nothing. But I swear I'm dedicated to learning Thai at this point because I keep talking to people, I keep seeing people and I just don't know any. And it's like, how dumb would I be if I've been here for months and I don't know no Thai. Swati kap, kapun kap, and that's all. Anyway, so that was my day today. I've been busy, but it's like, how are you busy getting a massage? Anyways, I've been busy, I've been on the move, but tomorrow, I can be normal again and I can do what I want. I still just gotta figure out the visa thing, but I can do what I want and I can roll out, whatever that means.